Good morning, YouTube. Um, I wanted to get on here like I was I'm listening to um, a podcast and I needed to get on here. I've had a couple of huge things happen within, I would say, since Wednesday of this week. Um, one of them, uh, strangely, um, was when I woke up, I had my phone on the charger. And so I expected it to be fully charged. Um, I'm going to put some moisturizer on my face. And it didn't charge overnight. So I panicked and I ran to 7-Eleven. And I bought another charger. It would not charge. So I had to go to the, um, the phone store. And, um, you know, I noticed they had a wireless charger there. So I used their charger. Still don't charge. So it prompted me to um, basically, you know, start a claim uh, with um, the insurance on the phone. So um, it's very difficult in this world um, if you don't have a phone, if you have no way of getting internet access, because I'll be honest with you guys, I don't watch TV. I just don't. I don't have um, internet at home because I don't use it and plus my phone has a hotspot so the times when I do need to get on my laptop outside of like being on campus and going someplace you know I usually have some sort of wi-fi access but in order to submit this claim um I needed to be able to um take a photo upload it uh, to their website along with an affidavit and submit it now God is good this way um and I'm sure you guys have had um those little instances where God shows up um, and it's a, a two, you know, two for the price of one type of deal where there's a lesson in it and there's also a blessing. So Wednesday I go to class and I find out I missed an assignment, but there is no way for me to actually do the assignment because um, we use a program at school because everything's online again and there's two point authentication process that goes through your phone. Um, before you're allowed to use any of the campus applications and um, you know my phone was in the process of being replaced but by the grace of God thank God I was able to um, explain that to my professor who um, opened the portal so I was able to complete the assignment and uh, thank you God for that because you know I'm paying out of pocket for these classes and I really want to be successful at this and um, everything that comes with it so yesterday um, there was a wonderful experience. And so today's video, I really want to focus on um, uh, one of the um, uh, spirits that a lot of us tend to carry. And um, within the last month or so, I've, I've really been, um, you know, communing with God and asking God about um, some of the things that uh, in my heart that um, need to be, um, you know, looked at and um, released, um, things that I would need deliverance from. And one of the things that I've always struggled with is pride. Um, yeah, good old Leviathan um, spirit. So um, yesterday I had to I had to drop something off at one of the Amazon drop boxes, and I decided um, afterwards to get the fun noodles that I've been wanting for about over a week. And I um, was originally going to get on the train because I was feeling kind of lazy, but uh, you know, God nudged me to take those um, six blocks up Long Beach Boulevard and just walk. So um, I began walking and lo and behold, I get hit up by the free phone people. First hit, um, would you like to um, sign up for a free phone? And I said, no, thank you. I'm pretty sure I won't qualify. He's like, okay, oh, come on. I was like, I'm pretty sure. So you have to have a EBT card and you also have to have Medi-Cal. I don't have an EBT card and I don't have Medi-Cal. So I continued. There was a 10, uh, maybe about 10 feet from the one that I had just passed up. Hey, would you like to sign up for a free phone? Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think I qualify. Oh, come on. No, seriously, I don't qualify. And see, this is the thing when you're saying no, I know that's their job, they're salespeople, but if somebody tells me no, I know I respect people's time and there's probably a good reason so walk down about 15 feet this time you know and uh this guy with 
eyes. Because you know, when they say to you, the eyes are the windows to the soul, there's a lot of truth in that. And I saw his eyes, but he was actually helping out his friend in the tent um, for the free phones. And you know, she's all business and she asked me some questions. And of course it's all no, because I don't qualify. And um, you know, like, I was also having a, a rough day because of the hormones and everything. And so it's like, man, you know, my patience is a little thin, but I'm trying to, you know, because God has done a lot of work on me as far as my character and developing patience and responding versus reacting. Like, there's so many ways that I can go about this. Like, you guys all know when you've been on this journey, there is definitely some molding. Like, you start to think about things a lot differently, show up for things a lot differently. People don't hit the same, um, especially when they try to trigger you. So, you know, you do all the emotional work. So I, instead of just like, oh, because um, I was actually on my way because I wanted to go use the Wi-Fi because I wanted to write more on my paper, which I didn't actually get done. But I did um, have a really good conversation with this this man who told me his story. So the reason why I was uh, talking about the Leviathan um, spirit that I possess is because like, if I could, I'll, I'll be honest, I would have loved to have had one of those phones because I'm paying $300 a month for my phones and it's real tight for me. And it's just me by myself, you know, when like we are familiar with being on a road by ourselves, especially like walking this journey with God, because a lot of people aren't really like that open to it, like places and spaces that I go to, you know, as soon as I start talking about God, like they tune me out or they think that I'm closed minded, um, that I am possessed by stupidity. You guys know the experiences. People immediately like shut you down. And so like, I believe like church is everywhere. So everywhere I go, um, you know, there's, there's opportunities to talk about God, about Jesus. And um, sometimes, well, a lot of times actually, if I know that um, I get sent to places that most people would think, oh, there's this place, this dark place, but there are people that are needing the light of Jesus in their lives at very important moments. Like they're having like huge transitional periods and these aren't always believers. And so God sends me places specifically for that reason to um, bring, you know, a, another sheep back into the fold, you know, like no soul is, um, you know, left behind that is meant to be within the kingdom of God. So that's why, and I'm not the most um, orthodox, like I'm not religious. So um, I'm a little bit off the beaten path, but my heart and my method is uniquely the one that God presented me with. So this man is telling me his story. He is currently homeless and he also has done a lot of volunteer work and worked with programs that I'm familiar with within the city that I live in. And it was just really inspiring to hear that this man has a twinkle in his eye and he is out there doing the Lord's work and with a smile, regardless of his circumstances and the trials and tribulations that he's facing. So he's telling me like all of these, these things, these wonderful things about his personality, which I suspected because I must have spoke to him for a good 30 minutes because I was prompted by our father to stick around because he had a very important message for me. And so it goes back to my circumstances. Like, um, truth be known, like, I don't worry because I know that I, like God has been with me since the beginning. Like I've, like I've been through so many trials and tribulations since I was born that like, I mean, like, it's amazing that I'm still here. Like, of course, I had the spirit of suicide and um, I dabbled, like, dealt with, struggled with the like, drugs and alcohol and, you know, people pleasing and always, like, giving my last to people and, like, just going down the rabbit hole and not seeing things realistically. Um, but on the flip side of that, this man was a testimony to a lot of us that are in some dark places. Um, myself included, but this man, he's out there um, because the light is very strong in his eyes, still living, breathing, and appreciating every moment of his life, still being of service to other people, despite his circumstances. And 
I, I feel that the Holy Spirit prompted me to stick with that man for that precise reason. So despite my pride and like not always wanting to get help from, I don't depend on people because I learned when I was a child that like, you know, everybody have abandonment issues and um, a lot of us do because we are, you know, we usually don't fit in. But, um, you know, he just was the voice of God that I needed yesterday to keep going. Um, you know, and maybe I should tell you that this video should be um, called The Ways That God Shows Up um, because you'll come across people, circumstances, signs, wonders, miracles, and when your ears, your spiritual ears and eyes are open, you'll know when it's from God. I um, have been learning to commune more with God, so I hope that you guys are also having regular conversations with God. I talk to God like God is my best friend. Um, and so I've been asking God for a lot more guidance um, before I make decisions or move in my life. And it's been one of the best things that I could ever ask for because people, man, we are on the narrow path. So there are some people that like to try to throw some curveballs in there. And, you know, unfortunately, they don't know this, but when God has decided to move mountains in your life, there's nothing that can get in, the, in your way, you know, because it is God's will. He is our creator. And I often think about that because people that mean evil, they destroy. And so I'm starting to understand the polarity in this world. On the other side of uh, creation is destruction. And so a lot of Satan's children, they destroy things, they copy, they mimic, they take the good principles of God and they add um, semantics, like just like with Eve in the Garden of Eden, um, they dress it up, but it's all just like gilded gold over a wooden foundation. Um, I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Um, you know, um, it is a blessing to be under the covering of Jesus, the blood of Christ, and it is um, a blessing to be able to come and do these videos. Um, I have always been a shy person, and I really appreciate all the believers that are out there because we, you know, outside of the church, we have our fellowship here, we have our fellowship on the streets, we have our steps that um, our Father directs us on every day that, you know, we may run into somebody that needs the anointing of God in their life. So, hope you guys have a wonderful week. This has been Shadea, um, and uh, stay a believer.